Listen guys, many of you are watching this video, you want to get the full 100%. You see, some people, they have a job, so they have an income, but most of their income goes to paying the rent, paying debts, and buying food. And now they are, they are stuck at, at a pattern from 9 till 5 to maintain that. So basically they're in a rhythm, they're not really living. Then there are others who are not stuck to such a pa pattern, but they're homeless. So now they have to beg for food. Okay? So let's say that the one that's begging around is delivered from a pattern. That's true, but he only has 40%. Let's say the one with a job has 50% or 55%. The one with a just stable job, he, or what we can, what you can call stable because they're outside of, outside of Christ, there is no certainty. He can lose the job anytime. Let's say that he wants to travel around the world, he wants to learn a few new languages, but he's stuck at the pattern. Yes, he has a place to live and has sufficient food for, and water for his body, but it doesn't have those other things. Okay. Most of you people, you want to do things in your own effort, on your own terms. That's why you're failing. The word of God says, God resists the proud, but he gives grace to the humble. You see, God is not going to give you his insight and give you ideas when you think you don't need his guidance. See, God wants to give you the one full 100%. But it needs to be on his terms, his way, to glorify him, and on, on his timing. Because sometimes you want things that are yours, but it isn't the best time for you to receive them now. Okay? So listen, if you want to go for the full 100%, go God's way. You see? Do it his way. And you know, folks, there, let me talk about my own life for a moment. When I was 14, 15 years old, I wanted to make a lot of fifth pictures. Oh no, no, let me say 13, 14 years old. I didn't have my own camera. You see, I also was interested in videos. I didn't have my own video camera. I didn't even have my own computer. You see? And um, I, did it. I, couldn't find a, I couldn't find a job. I got a job at a supermarket and at a cleaner later on. When I became a student, though to the student credit, I was able to purchase a camera. Uh, I purchased about two cameras, one broke by my brother, the other I still have, a photo camera, and then I had I bought two feature cameras in a period of two years, and also an extra camera. On my YouTube channel, I have almost 1,000 videos now, um, about about the drawing on my deviant art profile. I have about 200 deviations, also video, also photo editions. You see, all all of those things I wanted when I was much younger. I didn't have the resources for it. I didn't have the ability nor the insight how to realize those things. You see. I, you know, the Lord God made clear to me to give all my cares to him. He takes care of me and he took care of everything on his time. Yes, I am active. I'm not leaning on my bed and expecting things to happen. I am active, but on his timing in in his way. You see? And there's, an, there's one important lesson I've learned that you need to get. Before the Lord God took care of all those passions in my heart, photography, videography, making documentaries, um, showing my artwork, you know, getting a big social uh, network, visiting Japan, traveling a lot. Before the Lord took care of each of those blessings, he first removed people from my life. He caused relationships to go wrong. He, God then doesn't make anyone sin. But God can make you appear unattractive so that negative people will turn away 
from you. And that's what God often did in my life. He made me appear unattractive to keep the bad people out and to make the wrong people leave me. Before every blessing that God gave me, He first removed negative people. I'm going to explain to you why. I'm going to give an example from my own life. You see? I am have about almost 1000 videos on my YouTube channel now. And besides that, I am also researching other stuff. I'm also writing small books. You see? When I was 15, 14, 15, I wanted to do all of those things. And I was already trying to do this. I already wrote some small books when I was 14, 15 years old. The majority of the people that were around me back then, now that I look back, they were my enemies in disguise. Why? Because they pretended as if they wanted the best for me, but behind my back they wanted to talk negative about me. They didn't want me to, to succeed because they wanted me to be low below them so they could feel high above me. They don't want to they don't want to deal with their own issues, so they just pick someone else to you know basically to you just want to pick on someone else. Many of those wolves in sheep's clothing are gone now. Every blessing that manifested beforehand there was a battle and wrong people left. And that's what many people need to learn. Many of you want to hold on to relationships that mean you no good. Some of you women who are watching this, you're single now and you want to, you want to get married. You want to have a, a man in your life. You want to enjoy your sexual needs and enjoy your sexual pleasures, you know, in a safe way. And you also want to have that, want that the man also takes care of you and treats you well and takes responsibility for you. You want the whole 100%, okay? You, some of you used to have 20% just one night stands. Some of you had 40% a relationship, basically. Yes, I said a relationship in which the husband did have sex, the man did have sex with you and did buy you stuff, but he treated you as trash. I don't call that a relationship. Some of you had 60%. See, it, but now, there are women watching this, you want the 100%. And I'm glad you want the full 100%. And the Most High wants to give you the 100%, ladies. But watch this. Mo many of those friendships, many of your relatives, you see, and many of those colleagues or old classmates, they don't want you to have want the full 100%. And basically, having the one full 100% implies that there is no room left for a curse. If you want 100% blessing, that means that all the curses need to leave. And many of the people that, you know, left your life, they had curses with them. And they don't, they don't, want, don't, they don't want to repent, but they do want to spread those curses around. So, you want the full 100%, then those people have to leave. It's one way or the other. You can't have them both. You see? Because if you have the full 100% and you allow such a curse to come in, it will ruin the 100% that you received. And you cannot allow that to happen. Okay? For example, with my life, I do not want to be bound by cultural taboos. I used the word relationship back then. You see? Some of you will get very upset because I use the S word. Now listen. I'm free. I did not create the English English language. I did not create all those taboo words nor all those taboos, so I'm not obliged to maintain them. I want to be free in my speech. 100%. That implies that people that get offended because I don't talk according to a pattern, that they have to get out. So I don't want to be attached to, to, to such curses. You see? That's why I want you guys to understand. That's why I want you guys to understand now. I've talked to you, to the ladies. Now I'm talking to you guys. Many of you guys who are watching this, you want the full 100% also. You want to get the wife? With the, you want to have a wife by your side? You want to um, be redeemed and delivered from all negativity? You want to have your own house, you want to travel around the world, and you want to be a blessing. I'm not talking about people who are selfish, who just want to lock themselves up from the rest of mankind being, and being self-centered. I'm not talking about that. If that's what's in your heart, I'm not talking towards you. I'm talking about those Christians, Christian men, who are born again, who want to serve God, who want to have full 100% listen. You 
cannot have the full 100% together with negative people who don't want 100%. Because having 100% also means having that you need to have 100% accountability, 100% responsibility, and it also implies that you have you will become a 100% danger to everyone who doesn't want to have a blessing. If you want the one full 100%, that implies that you will have to put up with rejection from others, and you will have to put up with people attacking you. Because in the world, nobody has 100%. Some have 20, some have 40. In the world, there are many dysfunctions that people, you know, decide they, they are putting up with. They are homosexuality, bestiality, pedophilia, poverty, abuse of children, emotional abuse. You see, there are many plagues that the world accepts because the world doesn't want to be free from sin. They don't want to be free from iniquity. So, because they choose iniquity, sin is also there and all those uh, plagues are also there. Yet the world decides to hide those plagues with excuses, with myths. Okay? So, nobody in the world has 100%. God wants to give you 100%. So, the world that approves um, uh, plagues they will get very upset when they see that there's no plague operating in your life. When the world sees that you are 100% free, you are 100% blessed, 100% anointed, then for 100% for sure, you will endure attacks, persecution, and people that are coming to kill you, to murder you, I'm telling the truth. Just like they did with Jesus, just like they did with the prophets of old, just like they did with the apostles and the first Christians, they will do it with you too. Just like they did with the saints throughout the centuries. Having the full 100% also means you will be sure that you will endure danger on earth. So that's why you cannot have full 100% with people that choose to hang on to iniquity. Those that choose to hang on to iniquity, they are hanging on to curses. You see? And there's another thing, to have the full 100% you need to be real with God. Many of you also, I need to say this, you are holding on to cultural patterns of behavior to gain favor. And you do this with, you do, you do this in the world because that's the only way you, you can get something from people most of the time is by manipulating them. And now you're trying the same thing with God. Don't do that. You see, God wants you to be the real you, so that when you're real and emotionally naked before him, he can work on you and he can restore you and he can, you know, make you stronger and make you better. But many of you keep holding on to those patterns. One of those patterns, so I mentioned before, are language taboos, certain words you cannot use or you cannot talk about certain stuff. And you are protecting such taboos, thinking you are a good person, you are a moral person. Listen. Don't play that game with the Lord, just be the real you. If, I said it in a video before, if folks do not want to deal with your humanity, then they don't deserve to be in your life. Because that means that they only want you around to get something from you. Then they shouldn't be in your life and you shouldn't give them a place in your life either. That's why for those people who cannot who get offended and who get upset and violent and enraged because I use certain words that are defined as taboo words, you can leave my channel, I'm, I'm not bothered by it. I'm not going to give up the anointing and the blessing that the Most High gave me to please people that want to hold on to iniquity. I won't do that. Some say I repeat myself in my videos. Now listen, all things in the world are learned by repetition. Iniquity Iniquity is established by repetition of sins. But we approve the establishment of iniquity, but when righteousness is established, we get, we get angry. Now listen, you are going through the, the rough period in your life now because the Lord is putting things in place. That's why things that are wrong, God is breaking, and those things falling apart so that the right things will fall into place. So when God is making things 
fall into place for you. Don't go back for those things that are, are falling apart, that have fallen apart. They have fallen apart, let them as they are. They are falling apart. It's over with them. Be busy with the things that are falling into place. Okay? And um, it's better, you know, to, to, to go through, through struggles and tribulations. And through those troubles and tribulations, you are being established than to holding on to patterns and cycles and the names they hold on to iniquity and hope to avoid re to avoid rejection you see because many of you are afraid of rejection you are you are afraid of being hurt and harmed by others that's why you keep people satisfied so that they won't harm you don't do that okay because listen if you need to pay someone either with your emotions, either with your body sexually, or either with money, if you need to pay someone in order to keep them from attacking you, then basically you are you are preserving a monster. You are, pre you are condoning abuse by paying for it. Don't do that. You want to get a full 100%? Wait on the Lord. That means Remain in God's presence, keep on praying, keep on, searching, keep on searching the scriptures, keep moving on, keep walking in faith, keep looking for wisdom from God. Wait on the Lord does not mean lie back and allow years to pass. No, it means being active with the Lord continually, consistently. You'll learn from God when you do that. Being said, folks, I hope this video inspired you and may the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with you.